Here's a quick video of how I make the down wire. That's your down wire connection. And that's your connection that goes to the amplifier right there. You go out and you buy some RG6 like this. And you're going to cut it to the length you want, which should be fairly short, like a foot and a half or so. Just cut it, leaving one end on it. That way you can make two antennas somewhere if you want. Okay, first thing I do is I cut about an inch and a half back like this. Nice and easy, but don't cut too deep. Just You just want to take the, the plastic off of it. And there's your wire. Pull it back a little bit. Trim the plastic. Now it's surrounded by a braided wire, which is your negative feed, or it also insulates, but in the case of uh, whisk antenna this also is very important because it's carrying half of the signal and the other half is carried on the inside of the wire on a solid core wire so you take this and you don't want to lose this here so you take it and just go in a couple of little it's like a herringbone pattern you go in a couple strands and straighten it out nice and easy Pull it apart. Just like that. You can undo the herringbone. All the way down. Gently straighten it out. Then you can take it like this and twist it and make a nice, a nice wire. Then I like to take a little terminal end. I always pull off the little plastic. I'm going to go ahead and crimp this over a little bit. You don't have to use a terminal end. Sometimes I put these together and I just coat coat this with a liquid rubber but since I build these and take things apart and try other things it gets frayed real easily so I I do use a terminal end give myself as much of a connection as I can right here
There it is. I'll go ahead and give it a little bit of a crimp. Kind of hold it in place. It's got a split right down the center of the terminal. So any crimp one up on top. Gently one on the bottom. You don't want to cut it in half. And then on the other side I take one right in the middle. And then I give it a little tap with a hammer. Now we've got our little wire there. And next, you want to get rid of any of the other insulation. Nice and easy again. Don't cut too deep. Just get rid of it. In this case, it's very molded into the wire. So we're not going to try to take it off. We're going to strip. First of all, I'm going to just cut here up enough to give me a terminal, a terminal end like this. Gently, again, working in. Don't cut your wire on the inside. I'm going to There's our inside wire right here. You don't want a connection from this to the silver foil here. So then you just take that inside and you go ahead and scrape that silver foil off if it's stuck to the plastic. You want to leave the plastic insulation, but you just get rid of the silver foil. When you connect it together, you want to make sure that it that it doesn't short out and short the two two wires together. Okay, so now you have two wires for your connection to the antenna. What I like to do is give it a little bend, gently, now it'll fit right over. The terminal. And then on your antenna, you have enough to put it on one side and put it on the other side. There's your connection.
you want space between these. If, they, if you get this too close, it's going to degrade the performance of the antenna, which is why I like doing it on opposite sides with the whisk antenna, just to keep the signal separated. And of course the importance is not to have these two sides touch each other because that will short out your antenna. And of course it comes down whatever pole you're using to the end. I like to buy these ends. I have had no luck crimping the ends on just buying an end and a piece of wire. So I buy a pre-made piece of wire like that and cut this length off and then and then make make my connection with that. Okay, here's something else you want to remember. You're going to make your connection with a one inch washer. So you want to make sure that you have this metal part here stripped back far enough to where the metal doesn't touch the washer itself when you make your connection. And then if you want to do a really nice looking job you can just take this. This is a little piece of heat shrink tubing. You can put your heat shrink right on it. Cut it back a little bit. That keeps it from fraying. I've had no luck putting solder on these wires. So I just do it this way. Got it nicely in there. We'll go ahead and crimp this a little bit here. Got a little bit of a connection. I'll bring this up like that. Then I'll shrink the tubing onto the wire. So we've got a nice connection that way. If you really want to do a nice job at the end, get yourself some liquid tape.
So if you're harsh climate or a salty climate, or you just like your antenna and you want it to last, you can also just use some of this liquid tape. And protect that's basically a steel wire that you use on the for the outside connection. And that should protect it from the elements real well.